I've been on the hunt for the best wireless earbuds to take with me on my commute to work every single day in downtown Toronto. At one point I thought the Google Pixel Buds were my favorite earbuds in 2020 for commuting, but then I recently got the AirPods Pro and I gotta tell ya, Apple did it. These AirPods Pro are hands down my go-to wireless earbuds for moving into 2021 and I'm gonna tell you why. The most important thing about wireless earbuds is how they look and feel in your ears. Uh, the AirPods Pro features a silicon tip that fits right into your ears, and they come in three different sizes. I personally use the small and medium ones. And it also features a small stem that etches out of the actual earpiece itself. And the actual material of the AirPods Pro is like this white, shiny plastic. It's fine. like. I definitely prefer the matte finish of the Google Pixel Buds, to be honest, but I'm okay with what Apple went with here. I just think Google did it better in terms of design. The earbuds themselves feature this circular black pass-through that's supposed to equalize air pressure from outside of your ear and inside of your ear. Apple did this because when you put the earbuds in your ear, you're actually physically trapping in air with the seal itself. So that pass-through is supposed to equalize the pressure. That way, these feel just that much more comfortable. And to be honest, it works really well. I'm telling you right now, I have these in my ears and I can forget that I'm wearing them sometimes. Like that's how comfortable these are. They also feature touch controls on the stem itself. Press once to pause the song, press twice to skip to the next song, three taps, brings you to the previous track, and then a long press changes the noise cancellation settings, which I'll get into later in this video. Honestly, the squeeze gestures I prefer and work really well in comparison to other earbuds you can buy that go for a more touch-based interface. I find with those earbuds, you kind of can mess up the touch sometimes, or as with Apple's, like you can't mess up pressing something, you, you can't. And then additionally, if you take off the earbuds, it will automatically pause the song you're listening to, which is awesome, and then once you put them back on, it just resumes the music and noise cancellation right where you left off. It's a very flawless and smooth experience. The case itself is pretty cool. Uh, it's super tiny, super pocketable. It can fit in any of my jean pockets, especially the smallest one that I practically never use, which now I have a use case for it, which is with this AirPods Pro case. The case itself, just like the earbuds, are made of this white, plasticky, glossy finish, which Again, I'm not a fan of. I would have preferred a more higher quality matte finish from Apple. I thought that would have been really cool instead. It just feels and looks cheap. Like I remember when I opened the box, I was just kind of taken aback by how cheap the case felt for how much you pay for these AirPods. It's like $330 Canadian. On a more positive note, uh, the case does charge wirelessly, which is great. And it also does feature USB-C charging, which I mean like a lot of Apple products charge USB-C, but the iPhone, doesn't, anyway. To charge the AirPod Pro themselves, you just physically put them inside the case and that's how they charge. Five minutes, five minutes charging in this case gets you about an extra hour of listening time, which is really good. And the case itself can extend your listening time up to 24 hours. Although the earbuds themselves only lasts about four and a half hours on a single charge. The battery life for me is more than sufficient for most aspects of my life. Like my commute to work is only 10 to 15 minutes. I use these during lunch for half an hour. So four and a half hours works for me. It's only a problem when I have really long phone calls that can last more than four hours, then these for sure will die on me and then I have to awkwardly take them off and charge them for five to 10 minutes before I can resume using them again. And for people with longer commutes, such as on an airplane or something, you definitely might run into some trouble if you have a really long flight and your music just cuts out because these die. So it's awesome that the case can charge these up pretty fast. And speaking of music, how do the AirPods Pro sound? Sound is always so subjective, but I'm pretty into audio and I love buying the latest and greatest audio tech, uh, at least at a consumer level. And I think the AirPods Pro sound really, really good in my opinion. The sound is very rich, very full, separation's pretty decent, not the best sounding earbuds, not the best quality music separation, but you know, that's what you're gonna get for something as tiny as the AirPods. I think they do it pretty well. And if you combine all that with the, with the great physical seal that Apple has on this AirPod, 
on top of active noise cancellation, you really have a recipe for really clear sounding audio that you can immerse yourself into. I find that with noise cancellation turned on, these things can get very loud that I don't, I never have to reach max volume with the AirPods because of how full the sound is already, which is awesome. And speaking of noise cancellation, it is incredible how great it works on the AirPods Pro. I think Apple did an amazing job with this. It's not the best noise cancellation I've heard. I've definitely had better quality noise cancellation out of actual physical headphones. Let's go ahead and grab these right here, like the Sony WH-1000XM4s, best noise cancellation in the planet of Earth today. Uh, but the Apple AirPods Pro, they do a pretty good job and you know, I don't miss those Sonys that much. The coolest thing about the AirPods Pro is that when you put these on and then you turn on noise cancellation, you literally feel all the frequencies drown out around you. Like I just felt like I entered a different dimension. And for a lot of you guys who are looking to buy earbuds for the first time, you probably haven't experienced noise cancellation before. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it is definitely well worth the money to pick these up over the old AirPods that uh, Apple is selling. You just feel so immersed and just kind of in your own world, which is a bit dangerous at times, but Apple has a solution with that uh, with a new transparency mode. If I hold press on the stem here, it turns my AirPods into a transparent mode where it actually amplifies and lets in all the audio that I need to hear. You know, if I'm trying to order a pizza, order a coffee, have a conversation with somebody, that's what transparency mode is for. It, it literally feels like there's nothing in your ears almost, like there's something there, but when you turn on transparency mode, it, it's supposed to mimic the effect of just taking these off, but without having to actually take them off. And you're probably asking yourself like, well, that's cool, but where is this even applicable? In my life, whenever I'm ordering a coffee or something at a store and I'm, I was using my Pixel Buds before, even though I would pause the song, I would still need to take these out of my ear because the physical seal of the buds is still preventing like a flow of audio getting into my ears to accurately hear what the cashier is saying. With transparency mode on these AirPods, it solves that problem and it's such a simple solution, but Apple does it very well. Like, good job. And then on to some extras about the AirPods Pro. Number one are the physical silicone tips that you attach to the actual AirPod. They have a little mesh on them, so it actually prevents like ear gunk getting onto the physical product themselves. It's such a tiny thing that Apple did. I have never seen a company do that before, because uh, usually when you wear earbuds, you know, your earwax gets into to your ear, you know, anyway. Voice calls are still superior on the AirPods Pro. I don't think it sounds any better than how Apple does it. Also, when you first buy these AirPods, it pairs incredibly fast to your phone. You literally pop open the case, your iPhone recognizes it right away, you hit connect, and you're on to listening with the AirPods Pro within seconds, like it's that quick. The only weird thing about the AirPods Pro and actually the whole entire AirPods lineup is the fact that these are literally consumable products. When I say consumable, like they're actually going to die on you in like two, three, four years. And it's because the batteries aren't replaceable. So once the battery in the AirPod dies, that's it. Like you need to go and buy a new pair of AirPods. Like Apple physically can't repair the device for you and replace the battery. So, you know, you could take such good care of this. The drivers could be fine. The case works, everything's working, but the battery's dead. You're out of luck. You need to go and buy Apple's latest AirPods if you wanna continue using their product. Overall, the question I wanted to answer is, are the AirPods Pro the best wireless earbuds you can buy in the market today? And yes, it is. Like, it is, don't get me wrong, it is, but it's also not. If you own an iPhone, AirPods Pro, 100%, this is the way to go. If you own an Android phone, then the AirPods Pro is not the best earbuds to buy for your phone because it's very limited in functionality, like it will work like Bluetooth earbuds, but that's about it. I think you're better off buying like a Google Pixel Buds for your Android phone or like the Samsung Galaxy Buds, just something else. To kind of top this video off, regardless if you have iOS or Android, which operating system will give you the best wireless earbud experience? I kinda, I kinda have to give it to Apple on this one. Although they're not the best sounding, they're not the best noise cancellation, there are other products that kind of do one or two things better than the AirPods Pro, like all throughout the market that you can buy. What Apple does so right is that it nails all the fundamentals. It sounds 
good enough, if not pretty good. The noise cancellation is actually pretty good, if not great. The fit is incredible. It's pocketable, it's small, it charges really fast, it pairs instantly to your iPhone, it's super convenient. As a whole product package, AirPods Pro does it better than every other product on the market today. Is it individually better in every category? No, but as a package, yes. That's my review of the AirPods Pro. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys want me to purchase some other earbuds to test out and review for the channel, I'll go ahead and do that for the holiday season. Just let me know and I'll go ahead and purchase it for review. Uh, but outside of that, comment down below, hashtag AirPods Pro. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Until next time, I'll see you guys all in another video. Peace.